Hello everybody, my name is Dark Sucks. Welcome back to another review, and today we will be reviewing. Oh yeah, you can see it in the background already. The Lego Marvel Bricktober um, Superheroes uh, Avengers Infinity War pack. This is uh, an exclusive pack for just six plus. It's 22 pieces and it's limited edition uh, Bricktober. You get this from spending $75 or more at Toys R Us stores. Here's the side here. It's got some Spanish or Japanese. I don't know. I don't speak either of those languages. On the back, we got some warnings because they, you know, they're worried about us eating our Lego, which is, you know. And we got some more different languages. So we're gonna have a look at these minifigs and uh, let's go. Uh, let's do that now. So the first minifig we have here is War Machine. War Machine has some pr pretty nice printing on his legs and on his arms. He looks like a pretty good minifig. He has a brick built cannon on the side. He's got more printing on the back. We'll look at that very shortly. And some more printing on the arms. He has a regular Iron, head, uh, Iron Man head that flips up. And underneath he has a face print of him underneath the suit. Which I, uh, I do think is exclusive to the set. Um, and I think it's a pretty cool looking face print to show that he's, you know, underneath the suit and he's seen underneath. And it also comes with this head, which I think looks pretty good as well for like just a generic regular version of War Machine when he's not in there. Of course he has to be in the suit with those legs because of his legs are broken. On the back you can see the rest of the printing. Um, it's some pretty good printing and yeah, it's a pretty good looking Iron Man War Machine suit. Alright, so now on to Wong! So here's Wong from Doctor Strange. He's definitely one of the more basic minifigs, but he's a minifig that we've never gotten a Lego for. Um, you can see he's got some nice printing on his legs with dual mold legs. He's got no printing on his arm, and he's got a nice face print along with some back printing. He also comes with a little tiny book or a printed tile, which seems to be some kind of sun. It's a kind of interesting piece. Alright, on to the next minifig, which is Tony Stark. So here is Tony Stark, definitely one of the coolest minifigs of this uh, uh, Bricktober haul. You can see he's got some printing on his arms, and he's got lots of printing on his uh, legs and torso. It's uh, seen from the very beginning of the movie, where uh, the children of Thanos, he's got a little hood as well. On his, his back face print, it's like a little scared face print. And I do believe that actually might be exclusive to the set, but I'm not too sure. Uh, so yeah, that's Mr. Tony Stark in his jumpsuit. I think he's one of the coolest minifigs in this set. Let's get on to Bucky. So here is Bucky, or some would say White the White Wolf. He comes with this little gun here to show that he uses guns, because he uses guns. He's got dual uh, black and green legs. He's got some pretty on his leg there, and he's also got some more over there. He's got a gray uh, metal arm, which has a little bit of gold. And the, um, blue shirt and some long hair. On his back you can see some more printing for him and then he also has a second face where he's angry. And this is definitely one of the uh, uh, exclusive minifigs from the set because he's not made in any other sets. Alright, let's go to my final verdict. So overall I think this is a really good bunch of minifigs to get and will be a great uh, cool, uh, addition to my Lego uh, Marvel uh, and City. Just because of how uh, exclusive these minifigs really are. Um, I would say though, I I think I would have liked to see a fairy, but it's debatable. Wong is definitely probably the weakest one, but he's he's pretty cool as well. All right, so thank you all so much for watching. I'm in Dark Success. Subscribe, like, comment, and peace out. I recommend this to anybody.